Welcome to Scalp Acupuncture 9, presented by Lab Acu Wellness Foundation, Inc. New stimulation area for cerebral cortex functions, lean scalp acupuncture. Lean scalp acupuncture was invented by Dr. Xue Jie Lin at Xinhua Hospital of Shanghai, Second Medical University of China. This system is not only based on cerebral representative function areas of the brain, but also on combined therapy of neurophysiologists as well as the blood flow of the brain. Based on clinical research, this system has good results for cerebral disease and injury. Locations and Indications Three needles at the temple. Draw a standard line from the point that is 3.5 cm posterior and 1.5 cm superior from the outer canthus to the parietal tubercle. The three needles at the temple are based on this standard line. Temple 1. This line is 1 cm inferior and anterior to the parietal tubercle and 3 cm in length, backward and parallel to the standard line. Temple 2. This line is 2 cm above the apex of the ear and 3 cm in length, backward and parallel to the standard line. Temple 3. This line is 1 cm superior and 1 cm posterior to the ear apex and 3 cm in length, backward and parallel to the standard line. All three needles are inserted at 15 to 20 degree angles from the horizontal line and scalp. They are used to treat paralysis due to cerebral damage, genetic disorders of the brain, and nerve deafness. They function to increase the storage of speech and memory. Five needles at the forehead. Locate the needles two centimeters posterior from the anterior hairline between the corners of the forehead. Five needles are distributed in the shape of a fan with equal distance between each needle. They function to increase blood flow in this area, increase attentive response, and increase motivation. They treat hyporeactive disorders, hypomnesia, and disturbance of intelligence. For paralysis from cerebral damage and sequelae of brain damage, use this group of points with the three needles at the temple. The forehead first and fifth points are also close to Broca's area and are used to treat aphasia. Anterior motor area. This area is a rhomboid shape area, three to four centimeters anterior to the motor area. Three points are used. The middle point is five centimeters anterior from the midpoint of the anterior posterior midline and 3 cm in length posterior. The other two points are located 1.5 cm bilateral to the midpoint. They function to treat paralysis due to cerebral damage as well as spasm and increased muscle tension due to brain injury. Additional motor area. This area is located at the center of the anterior motor area, 0.5 cm bilateral to the midpoint of the anterior motor area. These points function to treat paralysis 
due to cerebral damage, sequelae due to brain damage, and nerve deafness, as well as dysfunctions of the cerebral cortex. Stimulate this area to increase thought and body movement. Sound memory area. This is a wide area that is inferior and posterior to the parietal tubercle. Cross the two needles from opposite directions. This area is used to treat nerve deafness. Speech area. This area is a vertical line below the sound memory area that starts at the level of the ear apex and is posterior to the mastoid process 3 cm in length. It is used to treat nerve deafness. Thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you on our next video.